ISTQB Foundation Level Question 274. A storage system can store up to three elements and is modeled by the following state transition diagram. The variable n represents the number of currently stored elements. See figure. Which of the following test cases are represented as sequences of events achieves the highest level of valid transitions coverage? A. Add, remove, add, add, add. B. Add, 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 remove, remove. C. Add, 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 remove, remove. D. Add, 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 remove, add. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. According to ISTQB syllabus, a valid transitions coverage, also called zero switch coverage, the coverage items are single valid transitions. To achieve 100% valid transitions coverage, these cases must exercise all the valid transitions. Let's us refer to the transitions with E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 as in the picture. The variable n denotes the number of elements currently stored. Each add event increases it by 1, and each remove event decreases it by 1. Notice that when the add event occurs, while being in the not full state, the state changes to full only if n equals 2. If n less than 2, the system stays in the not full state. If n equals 0, no remove action is possible. Similarly, if n equals 3, no add action is possible. Let's look at all the options. Test A can be written as E1, E3, E2, 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 E4. So covers 4 out of 5 valid transitions. Achieving AT valid transitions coverage. Test B is infeasible, because after the first 3 add actions, the system is in the full state and there is no valid transition going from full triggered by the add event. After the first three transitions, only 60% of valid transition coverage is achieved. Test C can be written as E1, E2, E4, E5, E3, so covers 5 out of 5 valid transitions, achieving 100% valid transitions coverage. Test D can be written as E1, E2, E4, E5, E4. So covers 4 out of 5 valid transitions, achieving AT valid transitions coverage. In summary, the highest level of valid transitions coverage is C, as the correct answer. And answers A, B, D are wrong. My recommendation. I recommend that you draw diagrams or transitions yourself, then you are answering questions like this. As a rule, questions on test techniques are not difficult, but require more time to solve than 
theoretical questions. Remember that any question in this exam, large or small in wording, has only one point towards the final score. Therefore, it is better to leave big questions for the end of the exam if you are pressed for time when taking the exam. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.2.4, State Transition Testing in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out this section on your own. You have amazing opportunity to prepare for the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation level exam via my YouTube channel only for subscribe and watching. Don't stop and never give up.